Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be what is hidden right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And for the purpose of this reading, I am going to read reversals if they come through and if I remember, because um, I'm just so used to not reading reversals. So uh, we have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, which is Aries. And today we do have a full moon in Aries. So you could be feeling the effects of that full moon already. Um, I feel like Pisces is a you know, especially connected to the moon. When I see the moon card, I read Pisces. Uh, some people may read Cancer. For the most part, I feel like the moon and you have a very special relationship. Um, don't ask me, don't ask me why. I mean, my moon is in Pisces, so maybe I have a biased connection. Uh, but for the most part, I feel like you could be going through something very, very connected to image, whether it's you feeling a certain way about your self image, whether it's you, um, you know, having some sort of doubts about something and the way that you are either portrayed or understood, right? It feels like sometimes we cannot escape um, the mirror of society, right? We are constantly being told what is good, what is bad, what is enough, what isn't. And so um, right now, Pisces, I feel like universe wants you to know that there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing that you're missing. There's nothing that you need to change. A lot of you are thinking maybe what's hidden is that one thing that I need to do in order to be better or to get what I want or to be the person I need to be. In fact, what's hidden is absolutely blank. There's nothing there that needs to change. And so for a lot of you, this reading is really special because there's nothing hidden. You are believing that there is. You're believing you're missing this one thing. You're perfect and perfectly perfect, right? We're all imperfectly perfect. Um, but you are complete as you are. And that's the message that I am being told to deliver today. So Pisces, whatever you're going through at this time, don't let it make you feel differently about yourself. Um, you don't need to change anything. We have four of wands, nine of wands, the empress. That, en that empress energy is all about confidence. It's all about her knowing that she is fine just as she is and that everything that she's done up until this point has been enough for her to feel good about herself and for her to be able to thrive and give care to something. She can give life. She can bring uh, this motherly energy to whatever it is that she cares about uh, because she has it from within herself. She's given it to herself first. Um, and so whether or not you are, you know, feminine, masculine, whatever you identify as, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy. We all have some sort of empress energy within us, right? And so I feel like right now the universe is saying, recognize the empress energy within you. Really tap into that part of yourself because you're actually a lot more abundant than you think. Um, Nine of Wands, a lot of you could be going through a very, very challenging time, whether it's because you are mentally exhausted, physically exhausted, emotionally exhausted, Pisces, that is okay. Universe wants to acknowledge that it knows you're tired. It knows you've been going through a lot. It knows that the energies have been heavy and it knows that you need some time to just rest and enjoy um you know, the, the simple things in life. So four of wands, I feel like um, you could be having this opportunity coming towards you very soon to do something that's actually refreshing, exciting. A lot of you could be kind of um, aware of this, right? You Maybe there's a certain event, a date, something coming towards you in the near future. A lot of you have that in your mind and you want to say no to it, okay? I don't know what this is specifically. It's going to be different for all of you, but a lot of you have something, some sort of exciting, pleasant, happy event coming towards you with this four of wands you're thinking of saying no why is that okay maybe what's hidden is is more about the fact why are you saying no to something that you know could be positive or could be enjoy and enjoy could be enjoyable there we go Whew, almost forgot words for a second um why are you saying no to that is it because you feel you are not prepared is it because you think you're not good enough to do it or to go right is it something about you that you feel just doesn't quite fit the event or the occasion Pisces we need to start changing these mindsets because a lot of you are going to say no to something that could potentially be you know really really pleasant right something nice I feel like a lot of you are going to be um, challenged very soon and, and put on this hot seat and someone's going to ask you, hey, Pisces, do you want to go do this with me? Do you want to do that? Do you, are you available? Instead of saying no, why not think about 
things from, you know, the Empress perspective and say, well, what, you know, what could go wrong or why not? A lot of you, um, because you're in this zone, right? Because whatever you've been through, and if this doesn't resonate, it's okay. Just look at another uh, placement because this is really specific and this is for the Pisces that needs to hear this. Whatever you've been through, it's made you so tired that you don't want to do these things, right? You don't want to go out and say anything to anyone. You don't want to socialize or you're just not in the mood and that's okay. But don't say no if you really, really deep down inside want to. Don't think that you are not, you know, good enough for whatever that thing is, okay? So just trying to trying to deliver the message i'm being told to deliver all right so let's clarify the nine of wands all right so we have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck it feels like there's some sort of opportunity or offer in love coming towards you very soon pisces it feels like there's a chance here for you to really just enjoy something uh, feel like yourself, think about things that are, you know, not about the stressful day to day. I feel like you could be rejecting or saying no to something that you really do want deep down inside, but you feel like it's just not the right time or not the right place, right? You're putting some sort of obstacle in the way of this one thing you desire. And what's hidden is the reason why. Why are you doing that, right? Universe wants you to ask yourself that question. We have Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords reversed, and King of Cups reversed. So it's interesting to see these reversals because I really think that the Ten of Swords reversed is universe, Universe's way of saying it's possible to still have fun or to still do things that you enjoy, even if you're under stress, even if you've got some things going on, right? We don't have to constantly be in the black and white. We can be in the gray area. We can allow ourselves certain things and that's okay and we don't need to feel guilty about it so ten of swords reversed you can feel good even in a dark time even you know with things going on even if you're tired even if you're stressed you can still allow yourself to be um to have pleasure right why are you taking away the pleasure from yourself at this time king of cups reversed you could be rejecting somebody that knows you well that cares about you you could be, you know, thinking of maybe you you are attracted to someone here. Maybe it's another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe it's another, uh, you know, maybe this is you. Maybe King of Cups Reverse is your energy kind of showing up here and saying, I don't want to uh, because I don't think I should or I don't think I can. Or maybe it's not for me. Queen of Wands, maybe you're connecting to a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Maybe you are kind of being, you know, um, offered something by somebody here who has a lot of attraction a lot of love a lot of passion for you but you're coming at them with this reverse energy and they're like what is going on right so pisces whatever this has you know to do with i feel like what's what it's getting in the way of is love right it's you allowing yourself to feel the good things so you know i hope this reading gets through to you okay i hope you really take it all in and just know you are not alone in this right? This is one of those that's kind of more like heartfelt in a way. So really hope that if this resonates, you understand. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.